What's up, Simmers Alert? TJ or Sim here, and today I want to go over some Logitech products, the RS Track uh, accessories that you can get for your Logitech. I've already done some unboxings and first looks of each one, which being the uh, Logitech wheel rim itself. This is the uh, track wheel, and then uh, of course the uh, the wheel hub, which is going to be the the Xbox version uh, wheel hub on there. So really cool wheel. Uh, and then I also have, of course, the uh, QR system here as well. Of course, you can hook up whatever you want, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do it all in, in one take here. So not one take, but I'll split it up here in the in the sections uh, and here with some timestamps for you. So, all right, let's get started. Alrighty, so first up, let's look at the QR here. This is the RS QR adapter Logitech makes. Uh, it's a very simple QR adapter. I put the NRG style quick release. This comes from my AccuForce as well. And that's just so I can switch between some of the rims that I already have quicker because I already have the NRG style, which is the BG, BG one here on my, on my uh, cube racing here that I can use. And then also the Sim Magic is the same way. So the, the, G2 GT Neo, same way, clicks on here as well. So pretty handy to be able to do this quick switching back and forth and me not have to switch out hubs or anything. Uh, obviously with the GT Neo, this is probably gonna be the more favorite one to go with, I would imagine, for the system. And uh, mainly because of price. It's an expensive wheel, it's very high quality as well. And uh, I, I don't know why anybody wouldn't wanna use it for a uh, more inexpensive uh, setup, right? So. Pretty cool wheel. Anyway, I have I done a lot of a lot of information on this wheel, but yeah, I digress. Um, so the QR system. This one here, you've got the and this will be a, probably a quicker video, but it's 2.7 millimeter, 70 millimeter bolt circle or a 50.8 bolt circle. Again, check my uh, intro first look video, and you'll see the bolt circles on here as well that you can do. But the nice thing is, is that they give you when you put a hub on there. They give you, of course, the nuts and stuff in there, right? But also with that, they just kind of lock in there, right? So you can tighten them up without holding the screw. You hold the screw in initially, right? Just to hold it in place and then tighten it and then tighten it up. But you don't need a wrench back here is what I'm trying to get to. So, which is really good. And then, of course, it comes with the QR. Now, this is basically a, a dead QR. All it does is your wheel is recognizing that you have a Logitech QR on here. So it has the plug inside there as well. and uh, you can basically use whatever rig you have. Now this is PC only, so I, I did confirm that as well. It won't work on your on your console. If you're to plug this into your QR, or see here, you plug your QR, I'm sorry, onto your onto your wheel. So, as you see here in the side side camera, your rim or your wheelbase uh, doesn't recognize anything special besides that it's a QR, right? Uh, so obviously it's just PC only. Uh, I thought maybe, maybe would get lucky, fingers crossed, that you could just direct, be able to use the Sim Magic wheel on here as well, and uh, like so, and uh, be able to play, say, Gran Turismo 7 or something like that with, with this room. Even though you wouldn't have you know, buttons that worked correctly, but you could at least uh, set up the game, say, with a controller on the side, and then drive with a rim that you may prefer more so that is not the case if you do want to play say gran turismo 7 or any console xbox or playstation you're going to want to get their rs track wheel or the round wheel for that to to mount up then you're going to need their button box right so either the xbox one or the playstation 5 one so we'll get into that here in a second but all in all it's a really cool little uh qr system here uh, it does do the job uh what happens when you pull it up here the display here will show, let me see. This one, of course, actually just slides right on, locks into place as well. Uh, you don't have to hold it in and then slide it on, so just to let you know. So let me turn on, let's turn it on here. So this is camera one. Try to zoom in here as much as I can. What you have here is you have your clutch, your brake, your gas, oops, your gas, that'll be light coming up here you see on the display. Your handbrake, if you have your handbrake enabled, I actually don't, let me switch it over to handbrake. Your handbrake will come over as well, even though I have it set in a sequential hold, but it still works 
pretty much the same, but obviously not as much engagement. But anyway, your handbrake, and then it has AA, AA and AB. I don't know what that is yet. Actually, the AA and AB on there, so I haven't seen what that would be for. That does also indicate you know, your wheels turning as far as that you know, meter there on the side, how, how many degrees you're turning as well. So that's what's going to be coming up on the display for you. Let's go side view. There we go. Now, is this right for you? For PC people, yes, for sure. If you got the Logitech Pro wheel, it's a no-brainer, 70 bucks. You pick up the uh, QR system, slap your favorite wheel on there. Uh, I've used the Cube Pro here because I've had it uh, forever. Great wheel as well. But uh, obviously you can use you know, whatever wheel you want. Um, you could direct mount your wheel to this as well. You could lose a little bit of distance in my case. If I was to remove off this BNG adapter here and quick release, I could just mount the flange right up to the blue flange on the QR system and, and then save this link here that I have, because I'll show you what it looks like here in this case, uh, if you haven't seen my unboxing. But so that goes on there and that's quite far out. It doesn't look too bad here on the side camera, but for me, my hands are, are a little bit too close to me in this case. So if I was going to use this rim, all the time for PC racing, uh, which I really do like this rim. I would, of course, remove it, but uh, remove the BNG connection and just keep it to the QR. Now for the, let's say the actual Sim Magic one, this is actually a, a lot better distance here. My arms are, are stretched out a little bit better here. This one would work just fine. Feels pretty natural here as well. So like I said, inch and a quarter longer for the QR system. So that's about it. PC only, 69 bucks. It's a no-brainer. If so, the RS track wheel here. So this I'm going to cover the RS track wheel and the button box together. I'm actually using the button box version here as well. I recommend that if you're going to get a button box, you have two choices. You can get the PC PlayStation button box, or you can get the Xbox button box. Now, the chip in this wheelbase that I have is for the PlayStation. So PlayStation chips are actually in the wheelbase. Uh, if if I wanted to play it on Xbox, you need this one here. And I did try this out on Xbox. It recognizes all the controls and stuff just fine. Works easy peasy, no big deal. Uh, just as you would expect on there as far as in-game menus and stuff. Uh, and I played some Forza Horizon. Uh, I'm sorry. Uh, Forza Horizon 4, actually. And I played some uh, Forza Motorsports, the latest one, 2023. And I mainly use this setup for Gran Turismo 7. I keep the Logitech. I've been actually using the Pro Logitech pedals right now for a while. Pretty good, uh, good enough to get on by with. Uh, and all I end up doing is switching this wheelbase out for my Sim Magic wheelbase. Although uh, I may get some different pedals here here soon from the Sim Magic stuff. So if you see any of the new stuff coming out, but onto this, the RS track wheel, nice all aluminum design here. Pretty handsome looking, I think, as far as the the rim itself. It's simple. It's not very expensive. Seventy bucks for this wheel here. It's not going to break the bank at all. Uh, it is rubberized wheel that this does feel kind of cheap to me, uh, to be honest, and uh, plastic caps here as well. But if you were to look at the looks department here, bend down here and get this other one, you will notice some resemblance the uh, of the, right, the Q Pro. They have very similar shapes to each other as well. So good looking wheel as far as the shape and geometry of it goes here as well. It also has a very thick, and I'll, I'll compare them here, very thick handles as well. So that, you know, the uh, cube racing here on the side, on the left, uh, and then the Logitech on the right. But uh, it has a really nice thick handle as well. Oops, and get up here, uh, which I really can appreciate uh, for, for us bigger hand Texans. So gets a little bit fatter here at the center and then and then narrows down here on the edges. I actually also like the uh, design that they did here as far as the uh, rim, as far as you know, it actually looks here down below. So pretty cool. Uh, as far as mounting it up here, it's just the normal bolt circles that you have here. You use all the bolts for it. And then you end up having a bolt right here that you can see there on both sides. And then one here at the bottom. Extremely sturdy with this button box. Aluminum design, so it's it's not really going to bend, but trying to bend it just by itself, no, it doesn't. It's very sturdy. Put it up here on the button box here. I don't get any wiggle or play here. You can see on the second camera, it's very sturdy. The only wiggle and play I'd get from side to side, if you can actually see that. No, you can't really, can't really see it too much, but there's nothing, right? So that's enough for the rim here. The rim, it, it's simple, right? So 
when you get to the button box here now the button box of course has two four six eight ten twelve actual buttons here as well on there you have your your uh, semi funky switch here it's just a four-way switch is all this is and you have your rotary dials here uh, on each side and they also push in as well very handy love it as far as she plays a grand turismo it's really good on pc as well when i play like forza you got the aluminum paddles back here that are adjustable as you can see oops where my camera going adjustable as you can see right here as well i got the camera i don't have them adjusted further in these are adjusted further out uh and then what i ended up doing was these were too close to me where i'd end up if you saw my uh first look ended up being too close to me <clears throat> so i flipped it over handle to uh get some more distance away from from this grip so <laughs> i didn't even realize it at first but uh one of y'all that watched it in the comments watched the first um, uh, first look he commented like hey you can switch it over i'm like oh, you sure can <laughs> so thank you for that comment but now the paddles are actually pretty awesome these are really good paddle shifters magnetic paddle shifters never had a problem with missing a gear with these very and very clicky as you can hear and uh very uh tactile feeling as well so i do like their clutch paddles here just like i did on their regular uh logitech the round rim as well which prepared here really quickly same thing now you'll notice you lose the clutches so if you do like the clutches with the stock wheel or if you're thinking about getting the button box so it's pc or not instead of a round wheel which are say if you're buying the whole unit logitech unit itself up front if you want to have the clutches you want to buy the stock the original the og with it to be able to get to clutch paddles i actually like the clutch paddles because i'll sign different things for it on the pc side of things but for console racing, not really such a big deal. Very comfortable wheel, uh, wheel to use and button box. Uh, everything ergonomically is is uh, this in camera here is is pretty, is spaced pretty well. I don't have two. Obviously, these left and right buttons here are spaced just right. Top ones you do have to lift off your hands and go to them. And then I just reach down here like this to grab the other button. So ergonomically, you can't get everything perfect on these wheels, but I think it gets the job done. It doesn't break the bank. And, and uh, if you are in the Logitech ecosystem, you really have no choice. <laughs> so you want a console uh, console wheel, a different wheel, <clears throat> you're going to have to get the button box and this wheel. Now, if you want to get a little bit fancier version of this wheel, they do have the Momo versions coming out with the Alcantara as well. I haven't seen it up yet, but I would have much rather have this as a, a more premium material of Alcantara. I think it would feel much nicer. However, I haven't had any sweaty hands with this. They are perforated, uh, as you can see here. And uh, for hours of play, no problems as far as my hands getting slick or slippery on here from sweating or anything like that. They don't, well, my hands generally don't sweat that much anyway or at all, but I didn't notice anything as far as it uh, increasing the heat in my hands. So all in all, really good Xbox button here. This is when you're, of course, using say, your PlayStation. This works like a PlayStation button here. And then everything else is the same as well. No, you know, your menu system and stuff all works pretty easy. I mean, it's pretty simple to figure out once you get it hooked up. But really nice wheel. I do recommend it if you are a console player and you wanted to use the track wheel. I love this wheel. Playing it on the on the Logitech Pro when I'm playing Gran Turismo 7. This is my go-to setup like this over the round wheel, unless I'm doing rallying. If I'm doing the rally stages and stuff, I'll grab the round wheel, slip it on as well. Now, one note to that, whenever you turn this on and you decide to switch, if you unplug this and put the other one on, it turns off the turns off the box. Uh, and then you gotta you know, obviously turn it back on, right? Not such a big deal on the PlayStation. It, it doesn't seem to lose anything as far as you're reconnecting easily. And same for PC, haven't had any problem with that either. Uh, but all in all, this is a really cool setup. Now the LEDs here, uh those are pretty cool let me put this in i'll take it back off the leds here i originally said in the beginning they have some settings here in, in the system and they light up as you go i'll show some video here of it if it's going on now they've corrected it now if you go from inside out or outside in or left to right or right to left doesn't matter when it finishes off the last light of whatever color you wanted to do if you did want to do some custom lighting you can uh, it's very small and faint and it just has that blinking as like, i can't really see it unless i'm nighttime driving and even then it's pretty hard to see well they must have sent an update across 
because now when you start to hit the red line, the whole thing flashes at you like it should. So a lot easier to see your red line now. So for my first looks video that's, that I noticed that was a problem, that problem is now fixed. So thank you, Logitech. That was good, logical <laughs> upgrade, right? What else about this thing? Comes with a sticker kit, as you can see, see here as well. I, I did that in the first look here. I don't have them handy beside me, but look at my first look. You'll see the sticker kits, different colors. I just put some logical ones on there that I use for Gran Turismo uh, 7. So do as you may. You can also you know, do your own sticker kits as well. But it is nice if they actually put some sticker kits in here. They don't give you any tweezers, though. Cheap down on the tweezers and put them on. So I use my Sim Magic tweezers to slide the stickers on. So Logitech, you got a little cheap there. But uh, anyway. I digress. Uh, really cool wheel and and uh, and a uh, wheel rim as far as comfort goes. Nice and big, and uh, yeah, I like it. It's 300 millimeter. And, yeah, this is I believe 300 millimeter wide here, so just right as far as size goes. And like I said, if you like the the uh, pro as far as the cube racing, feels very very close. Obviously, not as high quality of. Even these pedal shifters are, are a, uh, definitely an increase from what you feel on the Logitech's ones and obviously a little bit more premium material and stuff, but you know what you pay for, right? Let's go on to the next. All right, so last but not least, I'm going to cover the actual Logitech shifter, the RS shifter and handbrake combo here. Um, it's actually pretty good, guys. So let me switch cameras here for you. All right, so as you see here, this is the Logitech. I actually ordered, now it comes with the mounting mounting adapter that you see, that I showed you in the actual first look. Very sturdy mounting bracket that you can hook to the front of this base, which I don't have the camera showing here because I already have it mounted up and I don't plan on unmounting it. I'm gonna keep it on the rig for when I use the Logitech system, obviously, because I'll switch back and forth. But here you will see that we have, well, it's not, you can't see it as well as I would like you to be able to see it. So let me zoom in. So right here, you will see this little switch here, and you can switch left to right in the center. All the way to the left is the, gonna be the sequential mode that you see here. In the center will be the handbrake mode. Obviously, you'll have to unscrew this from sequential mode and put it into the handbrake threaded slot here, which will then allow a nice smooth, smoother action. This is more like an analog hookup. And then the third one is is more the uh, is the one you would normally use on most of your sim racing games. Uh, that is a a progression or as measures the incremental steps as you pull it uh, to yourself. So uh, let's let's cover the mounting real quick. Now it has several holes on the bottom of here. I mounted it. I actually ordered a one from Track Racer. This is a bracket. I'll flash it up here on the screen what I got and check out my links for it as well. Maybe help out the channel and buy it through one of my links. If you're not comfortable with that, that's totally fine too. But this is a bracket work perfect for this. I utilize three of the holes on the bottom of this one uh, to be able to mount it down here. It's pretty sturdy. The bracket itself moves because the way I have my setup here, I don't have room to add the actual bottom support of the brackets way it's really supposed to be mounted up just because I have so much gear as you can see here. But all in all, it's a really good bracket. I don't think you would probably have the same situation as me going through several items that you end up reviewing a lot, right? So um obviously this is all the some magic stuff here as you see that are my my stay on my rig. I don't really remove them. But the uh and this is actually a stay on my rig as well, this Logitech one. So sequential mode. Cover it real quickly. It has a nice as you can hear, nice tactile feel to it. Uh, you feel engaged when you're, when you're driving along and you're grabbing a gear, and grabbing a gear and downshifting and stuff. It feels very engaging. It's not, it's not like this, it's a magic QR. You can hear the difference. It's not to that level at all. This is more to the level of the AO logs. If you're familiar with AO logs, this feels about the same as the AO logs uh, shifter to me, uh, which I pointed out in the uh, in the uh, unboxing as well, first look of it. But it, it's good enough. It's it's not you know super high end, but uh, it gets the job done. And cost wise, it's not very expensive, right? So 129 dollars, I believe. And uh, yeah, it's has the extension here for the handle, so you can unscrew this. 
drop it, pull the handle off. And um, this is what it looks like, obviously, with, with, the, uh, with the grip off. There, you're stuck with this. I mean, it's not like you're gonna be able to change it to something else, but why I unscrewed it was to demonstrate that you can raise and lower the handle. Get this up here. It's to raise and lower the handle like this, right? Uh, so if you want it a little bit higher up, obviously you can get it higher up. You get that in view. So that's as high as up you can go. I can pull a measurement of that and put it up here on the screen for you. Uh, or you can check out the website as well and see how high it actually goes. And then, of course, I keep it low because, and then you just tighten it up, tighten up the bottom collar, and then you're good to go. I just keep it low because it takes more force to utilize it when it's in a low position. If you were to go up, obviously, you got much, a uh, much better uh, lever arm. It doesn't take as much, but the adjustability is there, which is really nice. So, uh, but it does, of course, make your travel a lot longer uh, as well. Sequential, really no complaint for the money that you spend on here. Again, if you're wanting to get, if you're already in the Logitech uh, system here and you want to expand and have a nice sequential, you can do that. If you want to buy two of these, you can have the uh, handbrake as well, which means you can actually, the bracket that comes with it, you can mount it on top and have a handbrake up here and then your sequential down here in line with each other. Each other. I think that's kind of a little bit weird. Uh, I would rather them be side by side or something like that. But um, yeah, you could do it that way if you wanted to, or you obviously get a bracket and, and mount them both side to side. I think their weak point is the actual bracket itself. It's really made more for, for tables and stuff. Uh, to mount to 80-20 rig, it's a lot more of a pain to do. Uh, utilizing the bottom bolts and you got to source your own bracket at the bottom. So keep that in mind. If you are more of a, a uh, <laughs> uh, if you're not using the Logitech play seat version uh, that comes with an adapter or you can buy an adapter for it to, to utilize this and mount it onto there, uh, it's going to be a little bit more of a pain to to mount up to say 80-20 rig as I have found. I had to go spend an extra I don't know, 50 bucks for this bracket set up uh, to be able to mount this up just so I can do a review for y'all. <laughs> but anyway, um, yeah, sequential mode, pretty good. No other choices on the market that they offer. This is their pro level, this is as pro as it gets for them. Keep in mind, pro level for Logitech isn't probably an enthusiast, or I can tell you now it's not an enthusiast pro level uh, setup, but it gets the job done. All right, so handbrake. We'll do the handbrake mode as I showed you in the uh, first look video. You switch it to the front hole here and screw it down as well. Nice thick threads on here. So it is not, you would be really hard to cross thread this, right? And it gets nice and snug as you come down. You don't have to worry about over tightening it or anything like that, but it feels nice and progressive. Uh, as some people comment about how they like how it feels. It feels more like their car. Same with the sequential, it feels more like a car. A normal daily car that you would you would drive and, and, and do a sequential with a handbrake as well uh it's it's nice and smooth it gets progressively harder as you pull it to you uh and as you can see it's not anything like say the sim magic you know hydraulic one uh it's it feels i would say it's on par with the fanatic as far as handbrake goes it is on par with the, it's definitely on par with the Aologs, uh handbrake. That one's pretty weak, uh, but I did, I, I did like it, but it was kind of weak. Uh, this is about the same, the same pool here. I don't have a meter. I don't have a, a, a gauge here actually to measure the pool on it, but it gets pretty light to this point. And then when you get to about this far here, which is uh, about 40 degrees worth, then it gets tighter and you finish, finish the uh, pool. So. And of course, the software will notice, you know, your zero, one, two, three, four, you know, you know, as far as degrees of travel. Uh, yeah, pretty good. You know, not the best. Uh, it is what it is. But, uh, you know, again, if you're a console player, you want to rip some rip some gears uh, when you're drifting on consoles. It's a no brainer. You can get this set up. Normally, if you're drifting, you're probably going to use the round wheel. And, and it's really nice, instead of hitting a button on your wheel, it's nice to go grab a shifter 
and have a handbrake, you know, uh, I'm sorry, grab a handbrake over here to the side and uh, rip it and uh, get to initiate your slides, right? So it's pretty cool, as, especially for console people. Now, if you uh, are console owners, that is. Now, if you are a PC owner, don't get it. Uh, it's, you probably will not be happy with it. It is better options out there uh, for the money uh, that you could use for the PlayStation. Uh, I'm sorry, for the, your PC. And it would be progressively stronger as well. But if you are in love with Logitech products, I mean, they are nice, nice products. They're very plasticky, though. There's nothing really too special, very inexpensive plastic material, although it feels robust. Uh, then, you know, go ahead and uh, by all means, go ahead and get the, uh, this one works and functions fine. I've been using it for a while now. I haven't had any problems with it, even switching in between games. So, for instance, once I map this on the PC for a handbrake in this mode, and switch it over to the to the handbrake mode and i decided i want to use it as a sequential and i shift it over to the sequential put it in the new hole my game still recognizes it just fine same thing with consoles uh because especially on consoles since you're wired all up you know the back of your you have your wheelbase here sequential is the same as using your paddle shifters as it is here it's all it's all the same buttons uh as far as console goes and then your handbrake is is mapped separately so uh, on your consoles. So yeah, all in all, it's not a bad setup here uh, for the full ecosystem that they're trying to build here for Logitech. So let's get to the closing call, uh, closing thoughts here and uh, close this out. All right, so closing thoughts here on the RS Trek gear here that you can get from Logitech. To me, if you're a console racer and you already obviously have the Logitech, you've been waiting for this for two two years now. I've only waited for it for like six months because I bought it a year after it came out um, for the Logitech to do a review on it. But yeah, it's a no brainer. You're gonna probably get if you want to do a sequential shift in, you're gonna grab the sequential shifter if you're if you're uh, on say consoles. I recommend it for the consoles because you really have no other better choice to play with. Uh, but if you want to have a, you know, a nice fun time with grabbing gears sequential or using a, a separate handbrake, it's not too bad. It's, it's not too bad at all. Uh, it's not, you know, high quality. It's more, you know, it's, it's, it's certain. Let's see what it, let me see how I want to say this. It's, it's, so you have enthusiast level, you have like mid tier, and then you got the low tier. Low tier sounds bad, doesn't it? But it really is low tier. It's a low tier, even though they call it pro, uh, in my opinion, anyways. Uh, but it's it's in between mid tier and low tier. To me, it's the same as far as handbrakes go, like getting the AO logs, uh, except it's not all metal design like the AO logs is, which feels more robust in your hand and a much smaller unit. Obviously, it's just a handbrake for that for that matter. You'd have to buy two units, one handbrake and one sequential for their set setup. The sequential mode on this handbrake is is good. It's just as good as the AO logs as far as feeling how it how it feels as far as the pullover effect on there. Uh, this is the original AO logs. I think they've revised it since then. Uh, maybe a little bit more attention to it. I don't know. Comment below if you know. But uh, comparing it to the AO logs that I did in my first look of this, you can go back and look at that video. You can see and hear uh, the differences between the two. So, uh, but all in all, not bad. Now, moving on to the actual uh, wheel itself, the wheel and the uh, button box. Another, one more time, a no brainer if you're on the console, you want to have a GT rim. I myself would wait for the Momo one if you're not in a hurry uh, to get it. Uh, or if you are in a hurry, get this one, 70 bucks for a rim, not too bad. And you just switch it out to the Alcantara if you like Alcantara. Uh, if you don't like Alcantara, then stick with this one, <laughs> right? Uh, there's going to be other other people, I'm sure, that's coming out. Actually, one of, one of you all mentioned uh, another company that makes a uh, like a 3D printed actual um wheel for it as well which i'd like to check out and put on here as well so but yeah it's not bad actually it's uh it's very robust i do enjoy playing this on gran turismo much much more than i do the round wheel uh and the buttons of course you know they're buttons right so they, they work 
uh, the rev indicator now that it actually flashes across the screen. Uh, the whole screen flashes when you're hitting red line, much better. Uh, no rev indicator on these that actually match your RPM perfectly that I found. Uh, and that goes true with a lot of rims that have a rev counter. You'll notice that you'll hear it still revving out in the gear and this thing will be flashing at you already uh, for what seems like too soon. All right. So, but uh, it, it does, it does what it does. Uh, now when you use, when this rev limiter comes on or this rev light, LED light comes on, it does go off on your base. The nice thing also about this, which I didn't mention, uh, is that this is low cut, so you can actually use the menus in your base uh, more to where you see how, how much you're applying brake and stuff, uh, which I know a lot of uh, sim racers like to, in the beginning, when you play a game, you want to like, you know, where is lockup on this? You know, what is it? How much on the gauges am I using, right? So it's nice that you can see that. Or if you're like me, I like to see how much torque I'm using, uh, using up in the game. I can identify it much more. That was a complaint with a round rim. I would rather have the display on the rim itself so I can see how much torque I was actually using from the base. Uh, but yeah, now it's, now it's, uh, you know, you can see it pretty good. And with Gran Turismo 7, the updates that they had as far as the force feedback improvements and stuff, it's really good, uh, with it. So I do, I do recommend this for console players. I have no affiliate links for this. Uh, for Logitech stuff, but, uh, I do actually recommend it for consoles. For PCs, uh, if you're in love with Logitech and, and you like their stuff because it is kind of a plug and play, uh, uh, uh setup here and it, it works, you know, most of the time. I'm sure some people will comment that it doesn't always just work, but everybody has some issues with something here and there. Uh, but for the most part, my experience with this console has worked flawlessly for me um haven't had any issues with it actually so works good uh but yeah if you if you're on pc i wouldn't buy this button box i would buy the qr which where to go i would buy the qr and i would get the sim magic wheel with the with the uh, hub and plug it in and this is the, this is the route i would go with if you're on pc if you're like me and you like to use consoles as well with it, which means you probably already got the PS5 version of this this hub, uh, then yeah, then obviously you got to get get this one as well. But PC only, I'd go this route with the uh, quick release here and run with the Sim Magic wheel, and yeah, it's pretty freaking baller actually. Uh, like that, so very very nice uh, with that setup. So feels really good as well in the hand, much much better uh, uh, wheel as opposed to to this one it just feels way better uh but yeah i digress that is about it for that and the qr system of course is 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 awesome uh it works it's just an adapter right and it's what we've been asking for and we want something that we hook up to this wheelbase here and it we just slap on whatever wheel we want for pc so that is good that is it for the review uh, above the RS tr RS track, you know, uh, uh, pr pro series that we have here for the Logitech. Uh, leave me any comments that you like, uh, whatever you want to know. I'll try to get back with you as quick as I can. <clears throat> and uh, give me your experiences too. Uh, other people can benefit from what you may experience. Maybe I didn't cover something that you that you know about. Comment below. It's a community that we're trying to build as well. And uh, yeah. Till next time, see you on the track. I'm out.